We've got your email questions. You ready? We, we got mail, and, <laughs> and Ashley's going to answer this first one, so I'm going to ask the question. Okay. Here's one from Heidi. On one of your programs, you had a testimony of a woman who claimed a healing from Gordon. It, well, I dispute it's not from me. It's from all healings from Jesus. I didn't die for you. Amen. <laughs> is it possible for several people to claim the same healing, or is a word of knowledge just for one person? I would say absolutely it is possible for several people to claim that same word of knowledge. Uh, but I'm going to let you do the heavy lifting mm. on why. Why is that? Well, the Bible says words are like seeds. Mm. Uh, so the word of God is a seed. Uh, the Greek is kerygma and, 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 you, uh, and sperma. You, so you, you have these seeds that you, you spread out. Now, if a farmer goes out and plants wheat seed and then expects a corn cob, crop or what do you think of the farmer and it's like well that's being kind of dumb yeah <laughs> uh it, it, you 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 reap what you sow yeah so if you're sowing words of healing then you're broadcasting that and if it lands in good soil this is all from matthew chapter 13 if it lands in good soil then it will produce a crop 30 60 100 fold so here's a here's a wonderful idea the person who receives that word of knowledge, they get healed. And if they receive it and then say, I, I want to spread this word too, well, then you multiply again. Mm. So the, the crop that comes in the first time isn't the only crop. You can have multiple crops. You can take seed back from the harvest and plant it yet again. Now, here's something that is maybe new to you. When Jesus speaks, he is speaking for all time. Yeah. The words that are recorded in the Bible, uh, the words that are recorded that he spoke in the four Gospels, those are very powerful seeds. They're mm. still producing crops today. It's still being repeated. It still has the same power, force, and effect. I love how Reinhard Bonnke put it when he had his great revelation, started a healing ministry with blind people. Blind people, he, he preached on blindness, and all the blind people in the audience got healed. The word from him, for him was, Jesus spoke to him and said, my words in your mouth have the same power that they have in mine. Isn't that wonderful? Wow. That's, that's awesome. That really is. That's awesome. And thank you for that answer. That was powerful.